Amazon have changed their algorithm. They are now indexing you for only 250 characters off your search terms. Once upon a time, they indexed you for as many as 5,000 characters. They now allow you to insert 1,000 characters into your search term column, but they only index you for 250 of these characters. In this video, I'm going to explain exactly how to work out what keywords you are indexed for and how to pick relevant keywords and insert them into your search terms. It is something that I've been testing on all of my listings and there is definitely a major change to Amazon's algorithm. I'm going to show you now exactly how you can get your listing to show up for relevant search terms. Okay, so I'm on Amazon.com. So what you first want to do is go ahead and just find the ASIN for your product. So I'm just going to go ahead and type in yoga mat. Press enter. I'm just going to pick a product here randomly and get the ASIN off this product. So I'm just going to scroll down here to the middle of the page, find the ASIN, copy it, go up to the top of the page again. And what you want to do here you want to put the ASIN first and you want to do it in all departments and then you want to just put in a plus sign and type yoga mat as this is the keyword I'm checking for so as you can see a product came up here for yoga mat so this means that this product is indexed for yoga mat so I'm just going to go ahead and type in golf buggy and as you can see our product doesn't show up here because it's not indexed for golf buggy so whatever keyword you want to try just put it in with a plus sign after your ASIN and then the keyword and if your listing comes up then it is indexed for this keyword if your listing doesn't come up then it is not listed for your keyword so what you should do is go back and put your keyword into either your title your bullets or your back end and go and check your listing in another 15 to 20 minutes to see if it is now indexed for this keyword now that you know exactly how you can find out what keywords your product is indexed for i'm going to show you exactly how you can put in other relevant keywords into your amazon listings back end the next thing you want to do is enter in your search terms into your back end here you want to put in the search terms that you don't already have in your title and bullets as the search terms that you already have in your title and bullets should be already indexed it's very simple to get into your amazon back end for your listing you just go into seller central then into inventory and then click on edit for the product listing that you want to edit then you want to go ahead and just click on keywords and then where it says search terms, enter in your search terms here. So to find the search terms that you want to put in here, just go to your Amazon listing and you want to put in the keywords that are not already listed in your bullets and title. So to find extra keywords that are being searched by customers on Amazon, go up to the search bar and you see when you enter in yoga mat, it will come up with a list of different keywords that you can also use that people are already searching for on Amazon. So as you can see, these are the additional keywords that a lot of customers are already searching for. To find more additional keywords, you just type in F, you could write for or anything like that or any other letter after it, and you will see these other keywords that people are already searching for. So what you want to do is go ahead and start putting in these keywords that you don't already have in your title or your bullets so I'm just going to show you a quick example here to just put in kids women and again you don't want to put in any commas as you often see here it says that you can separate them with commas but you don't want to put in commas because a comma will count as a character so this will reduce the amount of characters that you can put in so just put in the word followed by a space and then another word Again, I know that it says here that you can have up to a thousand characters, but as you'll see, if you go ahead and put in a thousand characters, 
you will not be ranking for these characters, these search terms that you put in here. So don't put in more than 250. And again, you can put them all in on the one line or you can start up additional lines and continue putting in more search terms or keywords in here as you please. But again, I'm just going to go ahead and just put them in all on the one line and that works perfectly on my listings. And then once you have them all put in and you can fill out any of these other sections as you please, just go ahead and click save and continue. You will be able to find plenty of search terms by using this tactic and going to the Amazon search bar and seeing what customers are already searching for. But if you need to find additional keywords for your product, then you can use a tool called Scope. This is a tool that I have used in the past and it's very good for keyword research. So if you need help finding additional keywords that are already being searched for customers on Amazon, then I suggest that you try out the tool called Scope. I will leave a link in the description to it and this will be affiliate link and I will make a small commission if you decide to purchase while using my link. And as always, if you do make a purchase while using one of my affiliate links, then shoot me an email at james at internetbizuni.com. Just letting me know that you have done this. As always, I am very grateful for any time that you use my affiliate links and I will be happy to answer any questions that you have. This is one of the recent videos that I have added to the Unique Private Label course. I keep this course up to date with the latest changes in Amazon. So if you want to stay up to date with all of the Amazon changes and want to start your own unique private label brand, then I suggest that you check out the unique private label course. I will leave a link in the description below. I hope that you have learned a lot from this video. And if you have, please click subscribe so that you see more future videos just like this one. If you want to read more information about the Amazon changes to their algorithm, then please click on the blog post in the description below. I will leave a link in the description so you can click on that and read more about this if you wish. I look forward to speaking to you again soon.